so let's take a look at what just happened there, right? Because I just ran hello go from the terminal and it's inside my folders. And so, Todd, why did you show me that? That's kind of like the first thing that you showed me right off the bat. What's the big deal? And uh, if we go over to Finder and we look, here we have go code too, right? We ran hello go right here, no problem. That was our first example after we installed. Then we created this, we created the folder structure. And we came over here and we said, hey, let's run hello go right there. And it ran. So what's this entire thing about setting up the go path environment variable? Well, what happened? when we ran this? Did it put anything into a package? No. Did it put anything into a bin? No. Right? So let's go over and now try this at the terminal. So I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go to my terminal. And uh, and what I want to do now at my terminal is I want to see if this will actually create an executable. And uh, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So I just wanted to bring something up that I could show you at the end of this video. All right, so to compile it, I'm gonna go back to this command go tool and here it says, hey, you wanna compile? And I could even do a com c command F and look for a compile on this page and build compiles packages and dependencies and, and install will compile and install packages and dependencies. So the difference between build and install is that install will also do something called installing the packages and dependencies. And, uh, and, and I guess I'll just give a little bit of information information about build, but I'll do that in a second because I just want you to see this work at, or not work. And if it doesn't work, show you how to fix it. And then when it does work, show you what the results are. So uh, I know it's a little bit of information. I know I'm talking fast, but I drank 18 cups of coffee before I started these videos. So I guess that was my own fault. All right. So now we're going to type in go uh, install. That's it. And it says, what, go install, no install location for directory, da, 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 right? There's no install location for this directory and it's outside go path. And so, you know, that's, that's my problem. If I look at my environment variable, I have a go path set to users, Todd McLeod, go code, but I don't have one set to, to users, Todd McLeod, go code too. So if I set my go path, right? Cause here it was telling me where'd my error go. It's all the way at the top. Let me scroll up. Here it was telling me it's outside go path. So that's 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 my error. And I, you're like, how do you know this? Well, if you come over here to the install thing, the next step in the process is setting up your go path environment variable. Now, if you follow these directions, it'll it'll totally work once. <laughs> and then the next time you start your terminal, you'll be like, it's not working. What's the problem? So then let me just show you kind of how uh, how that works in action, how that works in action. And then I'll show you how to do the permanent fix. Um, I'm just contemplating if that's the best, best method. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the permanent, permanent fix. And, uh, and then, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, you know, that, that'll be good enough. So anytime you create a new folder on your computer where you're going to have go code, you need to point a path variable to that. So when you run like go install or go build, you know, so let's even try running go build and see what happens. Go build looked okay, so let's go over and check uh, check what happened in our folder structure to see if it built anything, and and there's nothing there. So what go build does is it basically, uh, oh hey, there we go. We have our executable, but it dropped it right into this folder. So I'm going to get rid of that for a second, and uh, and then come back over here and try go install, and then we get that error again. And now we're going to set the environment path variable. And to do this, we need a, to uh, edit something called the bash profile. So I paused there for a second so I could bring up a page here that has some uh, explanations about editing the bash profile. But basically what it's saying is here in my users directory, and that's kind of like the secret code for your user's home directory, there's something called your bash profile. And here on my terminal, this is called bash right there. You see it's called bash. And you could even type in uh, help, <laughs> help. And uh, and you can learn about you know uh, what the bash is. And it, it, it talks about the name of the bash and where it came from, which which was actually kind of interesting. And for whatever reason, I feel compelled to show that to you. So let me find it. All right, so here it is. You type info bash, you get like this entire book about the, the terminal <laughs> and introduction to the shell and then copyright and all that stuff. And, uh, and it is the born again shell. I thought that was really interesting. That's the born again shell, but it's like, you know, born as in like that, as in Stephen born, but I don't remember what that guy's born name was in that movie. But anyhow, that's, that's the, the, the origins of the bash shell. So I got to close this cause I actually don't know how to get out of that when that starts. And that's the easiest way to exit something. If you don't have exit, just close it and start again. So we're going to edit the bash profile. And this is telling me that at my users directory, there's something called the 
the Bass profile. So if I type LS and I look, I, it's like, I don't see the Bass profile. And right now you can see I'm in users, Todd McLeod. And if I change directory and actually say, go to my home and then print that again, it's just like, yeah, well, I'm at my home directory. I'm right at that thing. And so it's like, you know, where's my Bass profile? If I type that in, I don't see it. Well, if I type in list and then dash list and then space dash LA, which is list, list all, uh, I see all of the files. And one of the files I see up there is the bash profile. So it's right there. And so I'm going to edit my bash profile. And I, I think to myself, can I just use Pico to do that? So I'm going to type Pico and then dot bash and then profile. And uh, let's see what happens. And it opens up my bash profile. And so I could edit this bash profile. And here you could see that I have uh, I have comments, so comments are pounds. And, uh, and then if I want to create a new path, I just say export, go path, and then put this in there. If that was not there, right? So I'm going to take that out by just putting a comment on. Well, I guess I have to use my arrow key to scroll down. Pound. So I'm going to comment that out. I'm going to exit, and I'm going to save it. And, uh, and then, yeah, save it to bash profile. So now I'm going to show you my environment variable because this loaded up when it started. And you can see go path there. And now I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to start my terminal again. And I'm going to, uh, and you know, so it's reloaded everything. And I looked at my bash profile. And now go path is no longer there because I edited it out. <laughs> I commented it out. And so it's not being loaded. But if I go back into Pico and, you know, bash profile, and, uh, and then take that comment out. Save it, yes, bash profile. And then I'm gonna close all this and then start it again. And, uh, and now when I look at my environment variables, it is putting in that go path. So I have the go path pointing towards go code. I actually need it pointing towards go code too also. I'm gonna try something I, did, I haven't tried before and I'm gonna try adding both in there. And so I'm gonna edit my bash profile. And uh, you know, for you, what you'll be doing at home is just adding your first one, and then when you want to add another folder to it, you could uh, you could um, you know do this step and then continue to add as many as you want. So I, I have go path. You know, one is my home, and then go code, and I'm going to put a colon because colons basically say, hey, I want to add something else to the same line to the same variable, and so I'm going to do home. And that's just like, you know, users Todd McLeod and it's go code two. And so that's where my, my next one is. I don't know if this is gonna work, right? It's like a trial and error process. I'm gonna save it and, uh, and there we go. And now uh, I'm gonna close this and I'm going to restart my terminal and then start and look at my environment variables, E and V. And now I have go path with both of those entries there. So now what I'm thinking is uh, when I come over here, remember we got that go install error when I tried to install this. So when I come over here and, and run go install now, will it work? So to find that out, I gotta navigate to this directory and we can sort of see where that directory is. So I'm just gonna change directory and go to go code two and then uh, source and then hello. And now I'm in that hello folder. And so I can list what's in there and now I'm gonna do go install. And do I get the error? That's so awesome. I do not get the error. My path environment variable, where is it? Where is it? Right there. Uh, totally was was seen because the Go program knows, hey, right, if you're going to install something, then I go to my Go path and I look and I see this is like the root. This is the root of one folder. And then because I have a certain work environment set up, it knows how to run the go install. And when it finds anything, if I'm working inside this root and I'm here and I say, hey, go install this, look at what happened. It ran and it put my executable in my bin just automatically. And so that's just like the way the Go program works in the background. Those are the people who created the program, said you need these three folders, right? And if you're going to run and you're inside this, in these three folders, and you've set this as kind of like, and I'm using my own word here, you've set it as a root, meaning like here's the root folder from which I'm going to have a bunch of code code. And inside that, I've got these three folders. Then when I'm in source and I, I have a, a source folder, right? And, uh, and I have my file in there and I say install it, it goes and creates the executable for me in, uh, in the bin. All right, so that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty dang cool. That's setting up Go. 
That's configuring your uh, your environment variables like GoPath. That's why you do it. So you just got a ton of information, which actually you know took me a little while to sort of figure out <laughs> when I first started working with Go. And uh, and I hope it's helpful to you because that's about as clearly as I could put it together. And uh, and I think that this other video that this dude did up here, which is like watch the screencast, is is very cool. It's a nice tour, but it still leaves a lot of questions unanswered if you're just getting started. And I hope I answer those questions for you.